Number 17, letter A. What is the terminal voltage of a large 1.54 volt carbon zinc dry cell used in a, in a physics lab to supply 2 amps uh, to a circuit if the cell's internal resistance is 0.1 ohms? All right, so first of all, when they mean terminal voltage, they kind of mean like the output voltage or the voltage that's actually supplied. Uh, this voltage, when they tell you like of the dry cell, this is like the theoretical max, okay? This is not the actual amount that is released. Reason being is because inside of that cell itself, there is some internal resistance that is sucking out uh, voltage or sucking out potential. So what that means now is if I know the internal resistance and I know the current, then I can always find the voltage, right? Now what this means is this would be the internal voltage. So in other words, you can remember this formula that the internal voltage, and actually it's kind of over here, I don't even use it, but basically, yeah, why don't I use it? So let's do it this way. V sub T, I'll call it the terminal voltage, is equal to the battery EMF, which is kind of the theoretical max, minus then the current multiplied by this internal resistance. That's little r, okay? So the total then is going to be the EMF, which is 1.54, minus then the current, which was 2 amps, multiplied by that internal resistance of 0.1. And we now realize that the terminal voltage here is going to be 1.54 minus then minus 0.2. And we're going to have a value of then about 1.34 right, volts. So that's what we got now. All right. Um, and that is then the terminal. Okay. All right. So letter B. How much electrical power does the cell produce? So, all right. Let's get this out of the way. So we figured out now um, we got the terminal voltage. Now, when they ask about the electrical power the cell actually produces, this is like the theoretical maximum amount, not the usable amount of power. All right. Uh, meaning because some of it goes to then overcoming the internal resistance, but it's kind of the maximum. So what we can use is we can use PIV. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Now, what you would do, instead, you know, the voltage here, you would plug in the EMF, the actual battery's, you know, theoretical max. So I, you can then substitute times EMF if you wanted. It doesn't really matter. But just keep that in mind. So the total amount of power is going to be equal to then the current that's applied. They told us it was 2 uh, amps. And the EMF then of the battery is going to be 1.54 volts, right? That was the max. This is the actual amount that's being supplied to whatever is connected to the battery, but the maximum amount of voltage that's there is going to be the 1.54. So we'll take 1.54 multiplied by 2, and that works out to be 3.08 watts of power, right? That's available. Remember, some of it's going to go to overcoming that internal resistance. So let's see what letter C is. What power goes to its load? That's basically what now we're talking about, meaning... What power is not used internally to overcome that internal resistance, but that's actually usable by an appliance that's connected now to the battery? And that's where we would then use the terminal voltage. All right, just think about it, right? You know what a 9-volt battery looks like. It looks like something like this, right? You got like the two terminals, right? So when you connect this to something, the load is whatever you connected it to, whatever the appliance is or whatever. This is the usable... what. The terminal voltage, the voltage between these two terminals, is the actual amount of energy that can be used by the appliance, right? Then to overcome some of the internal circuitry and whatnot, a little bit of the battery's total EMF, the 1.54, had to overcome this internal resistance of 0.1 ohms. So it should make sense that if this is the theoretical amount of maximum power, 3.08, then what we could do is we could subtract out the internal power, internal and then we would get the power of the load or power power available to the uh, appliance that's hooked up now there's several ways to do this you don't have to look at it that way we can calculate it that way or the other way to do it is if i know the voltage at the terminals all right of the battery i can just simply do power is equal to iv because i also know the current right so it's just simply going to be power is equal to 2 times now 1.34 in this case Try to also solve it the other way. doesn't matter. But I'm just trying to show you a different flavor. So 2 times 1.34, and it's about 6.28. 6, whoops, not 7, what? what? 2.68, oh boy. It's getting late, guys. <laughs> it's getting, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, 1.30 a.m.? Probably a little late. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Have a great night. Bye.